lot of the motivational videos that I see on YouTube or other places on the internet have a pretty constant theme. In order to succeed, you must fail first. Or, um, you know, success is only accompanied by early failure, or you have to fail to succeed, and so on, some variation of that. But as I grow further in my career, and as my mental health starts to adjust to the world around me, I'm starting to find that it's not the failure that I'm afraid of, it's the success. I am terrified of what's going to happen when my struggles as a filmmaker are met with validation. Now, I've been making little videos and sketches for well over a decade now with virtually no views and a solid 90% of them are total garbage that make me cringe but they're still out there they're still public and I still watch them a lot because you know it's not the failure that I'm afraid of. It's not the embarrassment that I'm afraid of or judgment that I might feel as a result of someone watching those videos. What I'm terrified of is the moment that I finally put something out that I feel genuinely proud of myself. I am uh, currently working on the pre-production phase of my first real short film. Uh, it's not a skit or a small video, but something I'm incredibly passionate about. Something that I think is gonna strike a real chord with a lot of people who struggle with mental health. Um, you know, it's very vulnerable. It's very heartfelt. Um, I actually, you know, bring myself to tears sometimes when I read it because I think about how much this script means to me. And I'm not terrified of it failing. I'm afraid of the success and what comes next. I've put a lot of time and energy into this script. And once it gets made, I don't really know what I'm gonna do next. You know, having as big of an ambition as I have means that when this project is done, I have to move on to the next project. And that's gotta be better than the previous project. And once I finish that project, I've gotta move on to the next project, which has to be better than that script. You understand? It's just a, a, a cycle. It just keeps going and that terrifies me. I am terrified of getting to a point where I just judge myself for not being good enough because I compare all of my work to what came before it. Or worse, I just think that I'm not good anymore. That I'm not good at all. That, you know, once this project is finished, that's it for me. Because nobody is guaranteed success in any way. Nobody is owed success, let alone constant or reoccurring success. It's not the fear of failure that holds me back. It's the fear of comparing myself to my previous success or previous pride in my own work. Up to now, I've felt a lot of shame. I have tortured myself to work as hard as possible to create art that makes me feel proud of me. That makes me feel proud of myself because I've always struggled with letting the pride in in the first place. And I'm afraid that once I let that pride in, that that will suddenly inflate my ego. Meaning that when a project comes out, if I see that it's good, that means everything has to be just as good or better. And that is artistic suicide. 
I don't have any advice or tips to overcome this, but I do know that I have to use this video as an opportunity for myself to hold myself accountable. Because I have no idea what's gonna happen when this short film finally gets made. I have no idea if I'll enter it into film festivals or if I'll just put it on YouTube and it'll die the slow death of a video on YouTube after a couple of weeks. But I do know that no matter what, I just have to keep creating art because I live for this shit. I really feel like this is what I was born to do. And no matter what, I have to keep going. And so do you. So don't let the fear of failure stop you. And don't let the fear of success cloud your confidence. You are capable. You are competent. You are talented. You are worthy. And you are loved. So keep going. 